What is good with you people, Lord Tool, in your motherfucking house with some Diablo 3, like I said I would do. And I would have posted this yesterday, y'all, but I'll be honest with you, I'll be straight up. I uh, did, I just played this all day. And I was probably about, I guess about maybe two hours into it, and I decided just to give y'all a quick clip. And it's not one of them games like Call of Duty where you can sit there and, you know, put some fast paced gameplay in you know cause you gotta follow the storyline so I was thinking you know once I play through a little bit if y'all are interested in seeing some gameplay that you know maybe you're interested in buying but you ain't too sure and you want me to play a couple episodes I'd be happy to do that just let me know um, I love this fucking game everything I expected it to be they did not take away from the first and the second Diablo which I was worried about because a lot of times uh, you, you get these these companies, especially like you're talking about like what 10 years since Diablo 2 was out, maybe even longer had to be longer than 10 years, probably 13 years and you know a lot of people and a lot of staff can change and a lot of things can change in, there, in that amount of time so I was a little bit worried about it but it worked out real well, the game is fucking sick I mean, it is absolutely amazing. What you see in here, I'm already well past this level. I'm like level 15 right now or whatever. Um, my guy is at least. And I'm playing as a wizard. And the only reason I chose wizard is because usually I chose like a barbarian, like a, uh, someone that, um, you know, uses more strength. I never really tried the other people. So I wanted to this time because I figured the graphics would be a lot better and it'd be a lot funner to level up and stuff and then, and I was right it's fun as shit but I'm gonna play it through with a couple of the characters so like I said it, uh, if, if y'all want some episodes to pay, play through it'll be easy to do that because I could start over with a brand new character figuratively speaking you have uh, the barbarian the monk the uh, witch doctor the wizard and I think there might be one more character that I'm missing. And each of them character have a choice of male and female. So, I mean, you have a chance to play 10 different uh, characters if you want, technically, you know. So, that's pretty cool there. And that's why I say it's easy to make it, uh, to make a, uh, make episodes of this. And, and it's not really, it wouldn't really be a walkthrough. Because the thing about this game that makes it really fun, um... What happened last time you played that might not necessarily mean that that's going to be there again. So you can get a general idea of what you need to do in a walkthrough, but you have to really explore yourself. And that's what makes this game fantastic. And I'm going to be honest with you, if you were curious to buy it, in my opinion, buy this motherfucking game. It is the shit. I got it on the Xbox just because I got Turtle Beaches on the Xbox. And when I decide that I want to play it online, which I haven't yet, but when I do decide, I want to be able to have good uh, quality sound, because all I have on my PS3 is uh, the Bluetooth, and I just don't—I'm not—I don't feel like bothering with going to buy a headset plus this game. I already got that, so I just got it for the Xbox. And it, it and the, and what's funny about it is, is the PC version of this. It's not as good as the console version, which is a rarity, and I'm glad about that because I, like I said before, I used to be a PC gamer, but now I, I generally stick to consoles, and that's why I waited to play this game because I wanted to enjoy its full potential, and my PC, I put a lot of work on it, man. I don't want to game on it, so um, I don't game. I got a new PC in February, so I don't game on it because. It can, uh, my graphics card is integrated on my motherboard and instead of going and buying a graphics card which I don't need to do for rendering videos and uploading them and whatnot, but I might have to for gaming I, I don't want to bother with it I got an Xbox and a PlayStation hell I even got a Wii so you know there's no point in playing it on a PC when I don't have to especially with these new consoles coming out they'll be just as good as any PC for at least I'd say a year or two and then uh, the PCs will dominate the graphics world once again. But I mean, that's could jump it off topic. This game is fucking fantastic. The guy following me around is some guy I picked up in here. 
and he's helping me look for the Scorpion King, I think the name is, or something like that, and we go to fight him, and I was playing this, and I was trying to give you an upload, but I didn't want to do like a, a 10 minute upload, or a 15 minute upload, so I was playing, trying to stay conscious of the time, and man, next thing I know, it was almost 10 minutes, I was like, shit man, this game is so fun, you lose track of time, I mean, I, I got this game at like, I think 10 in the morning yesterday, and I went to bed at like 1 in the morning playing it. I could have stayed up all night, but I got, I got responsibilities, people. I can't do all that. But I I have been playing the fuck out of it. And when I'm done with this, while this is rendering, guess what I'll be doing? Playing this fucking game. So, it, yeah. I, it, it's, it's such a change of pace from everything we've been playing the last fucking year. You know, this Call of Duty and Battlefield. This, this is real fun because it makes it where... It's, it's a real-time strategy action game. It's fantastic, man. And and if you don't like magic, you you know, it you can look at it other aspects like uh you know it's not just about magic. It's about you know uh the powers to be, hell versus heaven. It's it's great, man. It's it's an all-around fun game, and and it, and it it's really time-consuming. And if you're one of the kind of people that just you know you you live day to day, you go to work, wake up. You know, I mean, you go to work, come home, waste time, go to sleep, wake up, go to work. You're that kind of person. This is a game for sure for you. Or if you just love gaming in general, you know, this game is fantastic, man. And I'm just going through here, showing a little bit of how the options work. And I just started, see, I was level, I think this says nine. And so I wasn't 100% uh, sure how everything works, but I do now. I got it all good. I mean, you can uh, equip your follower with certain things and... See that right there? I was trying to show you that. And uh, I actually unlocked some shit for him. And now he heals me when I'm hurt. And, uh, you know, and he'll get enemies' attention whenever you're hurt. So that way you can heal yourself real quick. But, yeah, it's fucking great, man. Don't even hesitate. If you love this kind of shit, get it. If you've never had a, a game like this and you've never tried to play real-time strategy kind of games, play it. Try it. If you don't like it, take it back the next day. You'll get your money back. It's worth it, I think, personally. And like I said, if y'all want me to play some episodes, let me know because I'm 100% willing to do that. But, of course, I will drop some Black Ops videos because I know that that's what is in high demand for my channel because that's what the fuck I built it around. But at the same time... If you know me, I don't give a flying fuck what people think, so I do what I do just to do it because I want to, right? I play this game because I enjoy it, and I'll upload it to you because I want you to see what I enjoy. You know the deal. I'll let your boy Lord Tool out this motherfucker like a motherfucking boss.